just music program. A very serious yeah. program. Like this classical radio. Serious people. Serious, serious time. Yeah, tele Telecall Powers in the house who earlier in the hour did a really amazing set. Thank you so much, guys. That was really, really beautiful. They broke the PA. Watch us, Steve. We're sitting on work. No, sick. Fellas, that was a hundred dollar record about an hour ago. Now it's <laughs> When Steve and Matt came in, they were like, thanks for not playing music that sounds like us. Apparently that was a, a problem. We were, we were playing too much synthy stuff last time. No, I don't think that was a problem at all. It was just... Now, don't backtrack. Basically, no, we you were jumping on the bandwagon. That, uh, yeah, it's really yeah, I cool know. to play modular yeah. synth music. Don't you know that we made synth music popular in Brooklyn? I think it just was, music yeah. shows. It's all our fault. Anyway. records, man. Billy Joel heard our show and bought a synth. Oh, what was the name of his band? Oh, he was in, um... Yeah, uh, 51st Street fighting irregulars. No, no, no. no. Some, it was, it was, he had like a very metal name. Like, a, oh, Attila. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's Billy Joel's cycle. <laughs> so. Like, no, that was like heavy. Rock. He played piano for Zandic Farm Orcas. Sure. Uh, exactly. Movies. <laughs> the the uh, North Carolina <laughs> chapter, not the Texas chapter. <laughs> so I highly recommend that. Uh, that if you're in the New York City area, that you come on out to the schoolhouse on Saturday night to uh, see a really great show going down where Telecult is going to be playing. They're going to be collaborating with some members of Acceptor, the Grasshopper Boys, and uh, performing as Sexual Iceland. And as long as uh, as long as there's enough as long as there's enough power. I guess Bruce Bruce going on. So it's Saturday night at the schoolhouse, which is, uh, do you guys have the exact address for that? 330 Ellery. 330 Ellery Street, which is right off Broadway. And uh, also on the bill is Sam Goldberg from Ohio, and uh, Nautical Al Almanac coming up from Baltimore. Is Sam not coming with you guys? No. Let me get through the lineup, and then we'll, and then we'll espouse it. No, I thought they, I thought Let me tell with everybody you. when the show is, and then we will talk. Tell everyone. Saturday night. At the schoolhouse, everybody come out. Forma, Nautical Almanac, Sam Goldberg, Sexual Iceland, which is Telepol Powers, and Layla, and uh, John, right? John Fell Ryan from the Yeah. And uh, it's going to be all going down Saturday night at the schoolhouse, starting what time? Probably rock time. 9 p.m. Everybody, you can go to witchbeam.com, which is a, a lovely website that Stephen from Telepol runs. And, uh, and don't gets come late because we don't know who's going to play when. Yeah, and I think sexual ice when we might play at like nine just to get her over with. Don't you dare. I don't know, man. I only yeah. know you guys as playing last. Yeah, I hate that. Are you going to show a film to want to reveal what it is or no? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to show a film about like Adams and uh, some other weird shit. Another yeah, great thing is if you're not familiar with Telecall Powers is generally uh, Matthew brings his 16 millimeter uh, film projector and has a great, great collection of films that he's going to be playing, so usually of the educational variety. I once saw them play at, at Coco 66 and I took about 50 snapshots on the screen. Yeah, I might play that again. So. That was the one with the airplane? Yeah. Yeah, like the airplane field filled with lions running. Now. It's IMAX. I think we are the only band offering the IMAX experience. Seventy, yeah. seventy-five states for five dollars. I mean, yeah. you can't beat that. Five dollars. <laughs> Byob. Uh, can't beat that. Schoolhouse should be fun, and uh, yeah, Telecall Powers has meant a lot to uh, myself and I know Casey while well, you guys were were playing, and of course you guys will be doing uh, more music Bill stuff. Bill likes them too. Yeah, yeah we have our friend Bill in the studio who. Uh, goes around and he's he's been documenting hello there's bill he's been documenting shows around uh around brooklyn for about a year and a half now so we've got him in the studio just hanging out and it's really cool. is this footage for yourself or are you gonna like um make it public at any point it's gonna be on youtube uh, you, you, know, hey, you know what you might as well plug the youtube channel that's uh math grind is the username you should make a blog would be nice yeah a little easier yeah. 
we're kind of breaking the third wall by talking to the documentarian. Yeah. Yeah. Are we supposed to do that? Cool. No, I think that happens. Awesome. Yeah. Have you seen that Great Gardens movie? They're like talking to the. Oh, that's that's insane. Yeah, I think they talked to the Amazing camera Sam people and stuff. Uh, they, that was amazing. That was the amazing brothers. Yeah, those guys Great did. did uh, give me shelter. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. that day. What about the uh, the other Great Stones documentary that just came out? <coughs> Cocksucker Blues. Oh no, oh, no. the <laughs> one that's <laughs> amazing. <dude. laughs> yeah. Did anyone see Man Bites Dog? No. That old movie, like that. from twelve years ago. I, yeah, no, it's longer than that. Yeah. Twenty years ago. I, yeah, the French one. Sixteen years ago. No, it's from Belgium. Yeah, it's really mean spirited. The, the, doc, <laughs> oh, the guys who were documenting the, the it's a it's a mock documentary about a serial killer, but <laughs> one of the one of the doc the one of the guys making the documentary gets killed. <laughs> it's so awesome. Lovely. By the killer. Yeah, the guy's not nice. Oh wait, was it the guy who had sex with the horse and died? No, no. it's a totally different documentary. No, this is a mock documentary. Somebody. It was tell me a story the, about going to the Baltimore Film Festival and there was like a documentary about. People, yeah, on it. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Horse yeah. people, what is a horse person? Well, no, like people that love horses, yeah. okay, like really love them. Yeah, like, no, there really is a documentary about a guy who um, died after having sex with a horse. And I guess, uh, like, I don't know how you'd find that on Netflix, Death by Horsecock, yeah, <laughs> search or something like that. I don't even think that's in like the Mondo County movie. Ow, Whew. human I'm centipede. Sure why we're about that. Has anybody seen that yet? No, I, no. All right. I, I, I thought about renting it last night, and I thought better of it. Yeah. I mean, actually, we see last been watching Fraggle Day Rock. Work? Which one? Fraggle Rock, the Henson show. <laughs> <from> the <laughs> Did Henson you really watch that? From the beginning. It's a be- no, it's a beautiful show. Wow. Like, seriously, it's streaming on Netflix. Really? Fraggle yeah. Rock. Was Start at the beginning. HBO? Fraggle Rock is awesome. Is that an HBO show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I vaguely remember it. It's got lots of beautiful messages for little kids, and it's very far out. It's similar to like Willy Wonka. Like I always thought that wasn't a movie meant for kids because it was so psychedelic and no, so surreal. No, I think Fraggle Rock's good indoctrination for kids. Yeah. To the real world. Yeah. I just thought watching uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka, or whatever. I just thought it was kind of like getting me ready for the eventual time when I was going to take acid. Like, had I never seen that, I don't know. <laughs> get some prep work done. Yeah. yeah. I have a snake That's with cool. Yeah. Yeah. I just watched this yeah, uh, Hanna Barbera yeah, Don't Team sure. Roads ad, yeah, and looking at it, <coughs> I was just like, that. "Wow, you." Uh... This has been the best interview ever, boys. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah let's I think see so. how we can digress. It's I think it's probably like time. We really know where like to go and log. find all all the telecom music we need. Yes, yeah, so everybody, go to uh, Death which... by Audio tomorrow because we're bringing back our old band. Okay. Yeah, we're about this break twenty seconds reunion show. A hex break <laughs> reunion Great. show. Great, we tomorrow. just broke up eight days ago, and I thought that we played the last. I thought we had the last hex breaker show ever it was at, uh, to at be, Zebulon. It was supposed to be, yeah. and there was a the promoters made us an offer that we could not refuse. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> serious. We have it's to go. Guys, 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 we got to go. Time off. Goodbye. We got to uh, say goodnight Goodbye. to everybody. Goodbye. Party's over. We're going to be back next week. Go to witchbeam.com to get some more information about the show this week. Party never ends. Party never ends. And, uh, <laughs> here comes, here, up, here comes yeah, the next show. He has to come down in 20 years. He's still at radio. He's been partying since he graduated high school. What about those dudes that look like they're always on vacation? Hey, Turbo Cassidy, you're listening to Eastern Radio on air.